M0FXP. Happy Christmas, Craig. KM6LYW from M0FXP. We're tinkering with the DigiPi. Now, I've got the super version here, but I'm just going to go over installing this for people that have never used it here in the UK. So imagine having a Raspberry Pi device, literally the size that will fit in your pocket, that will allow your radio, and in front of me I've got the 991 today, to be wirelessly uh, controlled to use several different programs. The obvious one is APRS, Packet Radio, but a lot more, WinLink and so on. So if you, well, purchase one of these hats first, I completely recommend. They're only about seven pounds. I'll put the link in the in the description and dig out your Raspberry Pi. So I'm just trying to take my hat off here. Yeah. And they're color screens and they fit onto standard GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi. And as lit as Craig knows, I always approach this from someone from the viewpoint that I know nothing. OK, so go across to the DigiPi website. It says 2.0 release, but my download, my recent download today, and it's 22nd of December, is 2.01. So uh, it's uh, it's even a newer version. You download that, and I'll, you will need to log into the Patreon and maybe pay a couple of dollars just to, you know, to join the patron, and then it gives you the password so you can download, but you will be very pleased with what you get. It does say here version 2.0.1, which is what I downloaded yesterday. And it's like loading a Pi Star hotspot. So you're gonna need, you can't just put it onto an SD card. You're gonna have to put it on using software. And I use Bellina, but you would have heard of programs like I think Win32 and Rufus, but I always use Bellina Etcher, and I'll show you the link for that just here. And this is pretty much what it looks like when it opens. So once you put the SD card into your PC with the usual adapter, you'll be able to then select the file that you've downloaded. From I put it on my desktop somewhere, and it shows up as an image, DigiPy 2.0.1. Let Belina do its thing. It will find your 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 SD card. Then click flash and let let the whole process finish. Then get your SD card and um, just take it out of your adapter. Put it into your Pi. Now you don't actually have to have a screen. You can do this without the screen. Put the SD card in in a normal way. If you've got the screen, connect it. And then just uh, power on your Raspberry Pi. And like I said, you can use the zero. Oh, and I've got this super version I've got here, but this came from the USA. But anyway, <clears throat> once you've done that, then uh, just wait a minute for it to boot. And it sends out um, like a Wi-Fi signal that you can connect to, known as an access point. So go to your Wi-Fi, you just, you'll, you'll lose your Wi-Fi briefly, your internet Wi-Fi briefly. Um, and then just look in, in the windows as you search here. So I'm just gonna click Wi-Fi. Go like so, and you'll see one called DigiPi, DigiPi, okay? Click that and connect. Now, if there is a password, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Mine doesn't need one because it's found it before. Um, so it will connect and then on the front of your Pi, it will actually give out at the bottom. It will say the word hotspot. See if you can see it on here. Try and get the right angle. It's quite hard to film camera, TV screens. There you go. But it actually, it says hotspot, but underneath it says 10.0.0. Get it right 10.0.0.0.5 let me just check 10.00 yeah 10 then two dots then zero five put that into your browser and i've also put the usb cable that comes out the back of my 991 into this this radio into this digipi unit as well so now we're here at this, this is when we put in the, that address, we get this sort of initialization page. But what it does show us is all the different uh, items, you know, that we can use here and we have to turn them on. At the moment, everything's off and we've not initialized yet. But look, APRS, TNC, iGate, APRS, HF, TNC, iGate, and it just goes down, pat, 
Pat Link, WSJ, TX, FTX, Slow Scan, TV, WinLink, email, and so on. So the idea behind that is when you turn them on, then you click these blue sections here. It, it opens up for you and hopefully connects and sets your radio up for you uh, because this is what the, the, the DigiPi or effectively the computer uh that has this digipi software is going to do for you to make it very easy for you to just go in front of your radio and try out lots of applications thanks to craig but anyway the first thing is to hit initialize down here okay initialize and in this we're going to start adding all our details so as you go down the list call sign your win link password so you'll have to create an account i think there's a free trial for that that's sending emails over radio APRS password just if you click generate here it will take you to the site and you'll be able to just put in your ham radio call sign if you haven't already got a APRS password it will give you one okay and grid square I might as well you can click find now I'm not getting internet at the moment but I do know my grid square and uh, so we'll go I O 81 pretty short MI uh Lat longitude and latitude so 51 well, i'm just putting mine in rough and then mine's minus two for now so now i'm going to connect just here i'm going to put in a usb connected radio it has detected here at the bottom look detected radio gps device tty usb just here and tty usb zero just here usb silicon labs and you know, if you didn't know this you can actually make a cable to um, add gps to your 991 i've made a cable made a video doing this and don't worry if you haven't got a screen because there is a, a, a link in the software where you can just view the screen on your pc or any any browser that you're linking into this device so I have ticked large display, it's better for, for my PC. You can choose a different one here. If you look here, it says rig number. This is crucial. So go rig list here. Although, you know, we've been detected here, as you can see. Rig list, and on the left, I know it's wheel 10, if you just go, go down. 1035 Yesu FT991. There it is. I can't see 991A. So we'll go with that as 1035. Go back. Let's put in here 1035. That's our rig. And here 38400. So take your time on this bit because the more you get right now, the more you're going to be able to interact with these different programs. And just here for the device file, it says TTFY USB 0. And I'm recognizing a lot of this capital USB. I'm recognizing a lot of this from my Linux learning. So now we're going to hit initialize. Okay. When the device comes back on, it will actually have an IP address on there. There is a shortcut back to the page, just clicking DigiPi here. But first of all, we need to hit the restart for the changes to take effect just here. You'll lose the screen briefly. And when it comes back on, you'll look on your device and you'll be able to see the new IP address on the screen and down here it says restarting DigiPi so now this screen appears and if we click screen here you'll see that uh, it's still using the 10.0.0.5 because we haven't configured our our Wi-Fi yet but look you know we're now we can now see the screen which I actually really like um, myself so now we're going to hit here, it says Wi-Fi. And we're going to get our Wi-Fi details in, then hit restart. Now hit submit first, then restart. And you get this message, Wi-Fi settings updated, please restart. 
and there's a little note here that says you can you've got a couple of links here that you could try to connect to it I just search my IP address using on the left here my broadband router uh, log right so we're up and running now we can hit the screen here as well you can see now it's showing my IP address and close so now we can start turning on programs and using them now I'm currently connected to my 991 now you can see here I've put it to 144-800 FM which is the packet radio frequency here in the UK I believe in the USA it's 144-390 so let's turn something on so we're going to just do the top one first APRS TNC I gate just click that on so what I've done, I've copy and pasted. So on the right hand side, we've got our control panel. We've now got an IP address. And on the left hand side, I've just copied the IP address. Right, if you look, so we've got the same page twice. Then I hit the screen. And so we can actually see the screen. Then underneath that, uh, we get the radio. So now we're just waiting to receive some packets. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to get them in this one. So I think that's enough for this video. But the basics are that you select the item you want to connect to here on the right by pressing these sliders okay it does show up on the screen when it's ready to use that and then you just click the item and it will take you to that so more videos soon bye for now